So we carry skull themed jewelry throughout our collection. So it's to be worn, you know, if you want to rock up or look a little bit edgy. But we do see a big surge, especially online, and starting right now at the beginning of this month, that people are starting to buy a lot more. And, and that's probably in keeping of parties, people dressing up. And um, it's a way to be really creative. To find the right skull uh, was really important uh, and there are slight variations in faces so our skull that we have continued throughout the 30 years I've been working with uh, the face is um, it's it's fierce enough to be edgy but still kind of pretty if that makes sense a pretty skull so it's not really aggressive So the skull hand brooch is one of our most um, popular ones that have come through. And the way that sits is it's a huge skull hand and it just sits across the shoulder uh, on a jacket for a man or a woman. And we're seeing a lot of men buying into that as well. A lot, a lot. I think black diamonds are definitely a Halloween must, um, as well as rubies and green emeralds kind of like have connotations of like evil and envy um, and the sins. Um, that's something definitely quite prevalent in the Stephen Webster collections, often referring the seven deadly sins. One that's notable is the um, poison apple ring. It's very popular and it's a pave gold apple and you open it and it's a little box and you can put your poison inside. Additionally, we have the fly-by-night collection, which um, on first sighting you might think is a beautiful butterfly. It's actually not. It's a mythical creature made up by Stephen Webster, and um, it's a bat moth.
Also, um, our large cricket ring, which features a, a crystal hailstone that actually Madonna wore on stage. And um, that's a really fabulous piece because it's incredible attention to detail, but this sense of humour with it. During this time of the year, yeah, we do see an increase in uh, sales for the more Halloween, darker, bolder pieces. Um, yesterday, in fact, uh, one of our personal shoppers in Harrods came to visit our counter and they were looking specifically for Halloween jewellery. And it was ra rather refreshing and fun to see how someone would want to play with jewellery instead of like focusing so much on like a costume, but just a nod at the night and Halloween.